So let's talk about uh, how closing lathe works because I just had to fix this guy. All right. So this is open. It's still energizable. Well, you shouldn't do this, but after 10 years in university and I'm pulling on the education clause. So there's the motor. Motor comes over here to the variable speed. Speed system, um, which is really hard to see, but right there. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. That comes back to a clutch mechanism here that feeds up, the, up, up to uh, this system um, with this transmission under here that goes to the spindle. It also oh, has a secondary draw drive mechanism um, out of here into uh, uh, the carriage speed. So let's look inside here. All right, let's start with a couple of things. This is the variable speed handle. This is the speed range selector. Her. When you turn this guy, it goes all the way through, through to a cam mechanism. That cam mechanism presses oil all down into that variable speed system. If you turn this while this is not moving, you will introduce ooze failure into either complete failure or to a pressure buildup, up, which causes gas entrapment or gas formation that then locks the thing out. To get out of that, there is a procedure or we have to downshift, go start it running and go all the way down and hold there and it will burp. That's if it didn't totally fail. Fail, which is why right, you do not turn this unless, in fact, it says it right on the thing. That's what just happened, I had to fix it. But while we're in here, here let's take a look what's going on in this guy. So. Right now, I have the range selector down on the lowest range. If you see, look here while I turn this, this the motor is actually being turning, going through, and when you engage the handle over here, here, this and this engages the clutch mechanism, and it allows it to spin. So, turn on. Don't do this. This on. Motor's running. Hey, now turn the thing to forward. Turn it on. You can see this is moving here. In here, air, there's a bunch of transmission oil. Oh, well, this gets moved around. But if you look at here, the power is actually coming through the pulley down, down through here, and the lowest speed is not directly connected at the, to the spindle. It is actually coming into here through this gear down things and re-engage on the on the smallest pulley over here so that's what gives you your speed reduction action now the reason why uh, you move stop spin before shifting when you use the range selector well let's look what just happened I turned that that gear or things doesn't mesh really well unless you Sometimes you have to spin it around. If you do that while it's spinning, you'll end up in usual things. So you need to be able to spin things to try to line up the gears. Try to do that while it's moving, and you end up with pin and gear, a lot of pinning on the gears. As you can see, now it's going to move a lot faster, but again, the speed is coming through, through that second gear mechanism down this shaft and back over here. Here to the spindle. Now, this is what's wrong with this lathe. After 50 plus years, somebody kept doing this. This drive mechanism, like I said, in low and intermediate, flows through here, down here, down here, and up, up again. In the highest gear, this clutch system um, re-engages directly in here, and so now no the power. And these two gear, this gear is no longer meshing with anything over here. So the power is now directly going down here. But if we look at the teeth on this, this, they're pinned over. They will not fully mesh in there. It will not mesh at all. All the teeth 
eighth have been worn. This is why you do not change the range selector after while the spindle is turning. Hang. Hang. So, if we look again. If we look here, that gear is still engaged and it will always be engaged, but down here, it's not engaged at all. That one gear you're seeing down there is the oiler, or that picks up oil from the oil trough on the transmission case and spins it around. Now I'm going to turn this back to intermediate. Sorry, recording this on the phone. Don't have a good setup. It's turning. So I take that back. I'm gonna go back to low speed. Yep, that's that sound. Again, do not change the range selector while the spindle is moving at all or you'll damage the teeth. But let's go back to the variable speed. So I'm gonna turn this on. Again, don't do this. This. As you turn this, this, it starts moving this cam mechanism right here. That cam mechanism um, actually sits there and, and rotates this. And see the movement. If, again, if you turn that at speed adjustment while this thing is not rotating, you will screw it up. Up, which is why it says on the hand things. So, that's the internals of a cloth, the internals of a clothing 1500 lathe. Anyways, anyways, read your manual before using and understand the machines before you use it.